Hey guys, so it's Teal here. Sorry about not uploading last week. Um, just got kind of busy. Uh, but I'm here with another review. Um, this week it is with Avion. So uh, if you guys haven't played the Avion series, it is really fun. There is a prequel. I think it's pronounced Airman's Prophecy. Um, so this week I'm doing Avion. Um, I'll probably eventually do Airman's Prophecy, but uh, this week I have Avion, so let me... Uh, if you hear beeping, I am so, so sorry. Let me swap over to Avion. So Avion 1, what, Ren's Quest. Um, I believe the H is silent, so it's just Ren. Um, Ren's Quest. So Ren is obviously the main character. She has the purple hair here. Um, it gives you fun little tips right here, so you know automatically how to navigate right off the bat, which is great and wonderful. And you can obviously tell she uses a sword, she's got some armor. Um, you obviously can tell it's probably going to take place over multiple continents. Um, so it's great, it's wonderful, I love the art style. Um, so... Um, and if you're wondering, no, it's not 3D. It's just wonderfully done art style for the title screen. So you start um, in this lovely place of Clearwater is where you start in a lovely little town. Um, then you are made into a slave and you end up going literally like all the way across over here to a wild would uh sorry to um essentially to the eastern isles and because you're essentially mistaken for someone you're not supposed to be and you end up going on a whole quest to save the world well to save some to save the world by saving some uh saints and you meet a whole bunch a whole cast of lovely characters um, you even reform a, uh, a character that you meet in the beginning named Lars, who kind of seems like not a very nice character in the beginning. I'm gonna, not going to lie, you're probably going to hate him in the beginning, but he does end up getting reformed throughout the game, ends up becoming a lovely character. I won't go into the details of why, because that would kind of brift part of the story. But he does end up becoming a lovely character in game. You meet a vampirist, you meet a paladin knight who doesn't believe in magic. Um, and depending on what you do in the game, the storyline is that they do end up together um, with the later on Avion games. Um, but you can do things in the game to technically put them together. Um, storyline is that they do get together. Um, but it is wonderful, beautiful, um, and you can meet some characters in this game that show up in later games if you pay attention, and it is lovely. I will say the vampirus and the uh, paladin do show up in later games. Um, so this is the world, and the games do take place in this world. It does get slightly um, re quote unquote, reformed and changed over the course of the games because of things that do happen. Um, so this is the graphics of the game. So this, this is obviously on a phone because it has been ported to mobile. Now you can get it on your computer. Um, one, one and two, and I think four, you still have to get off the website or Big Fish Games. Three, you can get on Steam. You can get all parts of three on Steam. Um, but um, the games have been ported to mobile, so that's lovely, wonderful. You can get them on your phone. It's a great, wonderful thing. Um, they are definitely worth a play. I highly enjoy them. It's, like They have great storylines of saving the world. There's a ton you can do. Um, you aren't like rushed. There's a ton of side quests and just loveliness, little Easter eggs that you can find if you've played um, Araman's Quest. There's tons of little side quests there, and if you plan on playing the rest of the series, there's tons of little Easter eggs that you can find throughout each piece of the series if you do the side quests. And as you can see, it is top-down. 
um, more retro style games. This was made with the RPG Maker series, I do believe. Um, so, uh, but yes, very, very nice. The music is beautiful as well. So it's, it's just a beautiful overall, um, game. Actually, before we do the battle map, let's do just the normal um, menu. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so if you want any, like, um, goodies, tips, tricks, walkthroughs, um, you can go to, like, avion.com. It is still a functioning site to this day. Um, it, they have everything. Um, they no longer make the Avion games. The last game was four. They are up and running. Um and making other games. They're working on a new game now, but it is not, sadly not Avion 5, um, which you will be saddened if you've played all the way up to Avion 4, and you'll really want an Avion 5. Sadly, they are no longer making them. But in this menu, you'll see items, skills, equipment, party, leader, journal, profiles, save, and quit, um, which means you can see the profiles of the characters. They will develop as you play the game. You can change the leader out, which means you can run around and play play as different characters, which is great because you can get a house in the game, which means you can go around and talk to different party members in the game once you get that house because all of your party members will be in the game. You do also get, I forgot, a pirate. You have the option of getting um, a pirate. His name is Pirate John. Um, you get Mad Marge and a couple other different people. Um, but you... Um, go around and you can talk to these different people um and so there's that um you can change your party composition um you can use your journal to see what you what quests and side quests you have um you can change your equipment you can save at any time in the game which is super nice um you can quit at any time although when you quit it will call you a loser. It straight up the game will just call you a loser. Um, just for warning you, the game will always like essentially say like I forget the exact quoting, but it it essentially calls you a loser as like a little jab at you. But it's amusing. Um, but yes, everything is here that you would ever need, and I love that it looks like a piece of wooden board with some parchment on it and like a little scroll. And I love that the gold looks like a little chest. It's adorable. It's cute. I think it's amazing. Um, as for when you go into battle, and this is what it looks like. Um, and these enemies, they'll just be like flying around or walking around on the... Um, when you're walking around, so you just run into them. And then you have attack, skill, shield, and items um, at the top. And you can see everybody's... Um, different things if you're going to attack then you'll attack um with the different with like if you're going to attack with ren you'll have her just do a basic attack if you're going to have her do a skill um it, you can choose different skills that she has um same with shielding or using items um and that it's all based on their speed and the enemy's speed um, it's always good to have a mage in your party normally, so like Lars, or you'll get, um, later you'll get a soul, uh, soul, soul priest, I think is what he is. So he's really good to have, um, for like healing purposes, and so forth. So, you get, a, like I said, you get a whole cast of characters in the game. So again, Avion's just, it's really fun, it's really cute graphics, it's got really amazing characters. Um, really good storyline. Yes, it is saving the world, but I think what makes this game different than it's just saving the world is the characters. The characters really make this feel different than, oh, we're just saving the world. It is very much a coming of age story of, um, Ren and Lars, which is the, um, other character that you get in the beginning of the game. Um, they are both very determined of what how they want to change the world not just saving it which is what you end up being tasked with but also of you know ren doesn't want to allow slaves anymore and lars wants to make sure that no slaves are allowed in the um 
in the College of Magic, which is where they both, in, you know, go and meet because Ren was Lars, you know, family's slave. So it's it's very different take on that. And the, um, the paladin Galahad doesn't believe in magic um, and accompanies you to keep you safe from the vampirus uh, T'Challa, um, which is amusing because you do so many like magical acts in front of him and you put those two together as a couple because she wants him because he is so interesting to her. So it, it's very much interesting and Lars gets reformed by Mad Marge and becomes a better person and apologizes to like Ren. Um, so slight spoiler there, but it's because of the characters and how they meld and how they work. So it's a very good game and this whole series is very good. Um, but it is still that save the world kind of, it's been done before kind of storyline. Um, but I do enjoy the music. I did enjoy the old style graphics. Um, the price for this game is, if I remember right, let me make sure. I am actually going to pull up, double check avion.com. Just cause I wanna make sure I give you guys the right. Uh, yeah, so the price is still $20. They have a 60 back money day guarantee. Um, so just remember that, and this is an older game. Um, so please do remember that. Um, this game came out in 2006. So it came out in 2006. So just remember that it is, you know, it's, Rightfully an old game, came out in 2006. It is t still $20, so just keep that in mind. Um, but I do think it's worth it. I do think it is worth it to support the creators. Um, but um, I will um, I'm gonna give it um, now you do have to sometimes grind to like beat bosses or, you know, get money. Um, there it there are some cheats that are built into the game, mind you, to like help you get money really quickly and that kind of stuff. Like there's a money cow really early on in the game. I'm not gonna tell you how to get it. You can look that up. Um, but um, and that kind of stuff, and you do sometimes have to grind to beat the bosses and that kind of stuff. Um, but um, I would give this game, let me give, so I'm going to take this and put this, wrong thing. So I would give Avion 1 a four and a half out of five stars because it's just, it's a, it's a really good game. Um, the only real, I guess, bad thing would be that you'd have to grind. Um, for money and for items and for levels sometimes. But other than that, it's a solid game. But then again, all RPGs you generally have to grind. Um, so, you know, put some time in and play this game. I highly recommend it. Um, even with it being an older game, um, I recommend the whole series. Especially if you like, you know, the older game, like the older Final Fantasy games and stuff. I highly recommend it, and I hope you guys have a fun time playing it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, I'll try to be better about getting these things out. Sorry, I got really busy last week, guys. Um, and I hope to see you guys next week. And let me know if you guys uh, want me to still do um, streams, even if like my boyfriend isn't available on Fridays. So, see you guys next week.